Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is, today's video is gonna be all about Gaberhood, Philadelphia. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert and your local information expert here and living in Philadelphia. Got you covered in the city and out of the city for all your real estate and information needs in the counties and in New Jersey too. If you like our videos, hit subscribe. Also hit like. Also, give us a call, shoot us a text. If you have a suggestion, let us know. Maybe comment that down below. Today's video is gonna be all about Gaberhood, Philadelphia. So I don't know if you could tell, but behind me, I'm spreading my wings and we're spreading our wings in Philadelphia. Today's Gaberhood video coming at you. All right, so it's no surprise Philadelphia, the heart of independence, the heart of freedom, the, the, the country's greatest spot for acceptance and independence, we've got Gaberhood. So back in 1965, this was the first demonstration spot, this exact spot, actually, I don't know if it was this exact spot, it's a, but it's a pretty cool spot. We're actually here on South 13th Street, but back in 65 was the first demonstration in Philadelphia, which then became the birthplace of Gaberhood. Actually, Independence Hall was the spot where they had the demonstration back in 65. This part of our fair city became the heart of what is known as Gaberhood. So since right around World War II, this area has been uh, predominantly known as Gaberhood and, and what does it mean exactly? So the blocks between 11th and Broad and Pine and Chestnut in Center City is that is our square, we'll say. Predominantly gay and lesbian owned businesses. A lot of residents are, but there's such a ton of other things besides that in this area. Let's go check some out. All right, all right. So we've got the heart of Gaberhood here just a bunch of cool shops and a bunch of great spots to eat. You got local cool, inexpensive delis. You got fun places to shop. You've got everything from French cuisine to Mexican. Sit outside, bring your own beer, grab a beer, buy a wine. South 13th, great spot to eat, great spot to live, great spot to work. Check out Center City, check out Gaberhood. Phenomenal spots. So right, right out front of where I was standing a moment ago is Old Nelson Food Company. Classic deli, classic spot for grocery. Right here on South 13th. You're in the area and you want a half a pound of delicious ham, <laughs> or maybe you don't eat ham and you want some wonderful provolone cheese, we got you covered here. We're still in the heart of Center City, in the heart of Gaberhood. So you'll see all around town, the, well, all around Gaberhood, you'll see the, the, the rainbow flag. So you, you know that you're in the area. Being Center City and being really in the heart of it here, there's so many cool spots. And, and I'm on 1300 block of Sampson and we're checking out Opa restaurant. And there's a, a great beer garden attached to it called Drury Beer Garden but they got these cool outside seats, if you can see here behind me. And it's, it's just fun, like you're, you're literally sitting out on the, on the middle of the, uh, literally the middle of Center City, in the middle of the road, have a beer, have a, have a delicious something to eat. There are a ton of great spots like this all around. It's homey, it's fun, it's inviting. They'll actually block off these areas sometimes on the weekends and when it gets real busy, so you can kind of walk freely, but it's a great, Midtown or uh, center city life. Let's check out Opa Restaurant. All right, so we got Opa Restaurant and Drury Beer Garden connected to each other. You could live right above here and there's actually some lofts right next to it, but Opa's got delicious Greek inspired food, fire kissed entrees, lamb gyros, grilled octopus. 
delicious vegetable sides. You can, you can really get a rich experience without having to pay too much money. But they got these win cool windows that'll open up to get some fresh air in. But you gotta check out Opa's. And when you say it, you gotta say Opa. <laughs> All right, so we traveled a little bit further to 13th and Locust, and this is like the hub. I'm gonna check out another cool spot here, but I wanna show you a couple of these street signs, a couple of murals right around here. It's just an unbelievable part of Gaberhood, unbelievable part of the city. Just check out. All right, so you got this beautiful mural here. It's absolutely really, really cool. It's uh, they're called the Philadelphia Muses. And if you could see the rainbow signs that I mentioned. Now there's flags throughout too, which we could hopefully we'll see a few on our travels here. But there's Edie Windsor and you got Barbara Giddings Way. Now Barbara Giddings was the uh, the 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 forerunner, the <laughs> the mother of uh, uh Gaberhood, let's say. But that's just kind of a homage, paying homage to her here on 13th. You could even see the road, uh, the 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 street, the, the block I just passed, the uh, crossing the street, um, gives that gives that rainbow effect as well. All right, and up here, oh yeah, we love it, Philly, go Philly! <laughs> Classic Philly welcoming, right? Don't try to cross the street. But across the street, speaking of crossing the street, Right across from the mural, we got Green Eggs Cafe. Now they've got like six locations throughout the city. Uh, I know you're gonna be surprised when you hear it, but it's a really great breakfast spot, okay? And if you see these, this, these blue bikes here, these are all throughout the city as well. We talk about these in a bunch of our videos. You could just grab one of these bikes and go. They got specials running on them. Uh, you can grab a bike here and drop it off to the next spot. But Green Eggs Cafe's got great stuff like chicken and waffles. Obviously, they do green eggs. They also do blue eggs. No, I'm just kidding. They may turn your eggs green if you want. But just a sweet little spot here. Gaberhood. All right, so you know we got to check out some great neighborhood real estate, center city. I mean, this is the heart of the city. There's new construction going on, but these lofts here, these luxury condos here I picked out in that $3 million range. There's actually one for sale here for just under $3 million. They've got a 75-foot lap pool in here, guys, okay? But you've got to check out center city. Literally the heart. i got Broad Street. We've got the Merriam Theater right here. We've got Kimmel Center. This is a phenomenal spot, right in the heart of where we want to be, right in the heart of Gaberhood, progress and pride. Let's check out this award-winning luxury condo. All right, all right, all right. So for for just over three million, they've got, I mentioned a 75 foot lap pool, hot tub, adjacent fitness center, right across from Doubletree, you've got all the luxury of Center City, penthouse suite, three-story interior row homes, uh, in three-story interior condos and row homes, a very few, few for sale in the area. The property comes with a home warranty. Hey, right, we include a home warranty with all of our listings as well. And if they don't have one, we'll negotiate for you one as well. The property will actually rent for $3,400 a month. Spacious living room, wall to ceiling, windows, We've got stainless steel appliances. Check out that view. You want to see inside? Give us a call. We got new construction going on right across the street. Brand new condominiums coming in. All right, so you want to own a piece of history? You want to own a piece of history? A piece of Philadelphia? We got one of the most sought after blocks here in Philly for sale for under a half a million dollars. That's right, absolutely. Completely modernized, but also exquisitely restored piece of history here. Look at this awesome, cool, cute, <laughs> quiet block. This is Philadelphia. This is classic, like cobblestone Philadelphia. You can even see, like, you can even hear, if you listen, 
the horse-drawn carriage coming down the cobblestone path here. Check it out. All right, all right. So we've got three full bedrooms, one and a half baths, half a million dollars, literally a piece of history, a slice of historic Philadelphia. It's been lovingly restored, you got its colonial glory. There's old Glory herself. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> got about 1,300 square feet. Listen to how quiet this block is. Here, I'll stop talking. I can only stop talking for a moment, though. You can hear the wind blowing in Center City for a half a million dollars, walkable to Broad Street. What a beautiful corner, beautiful piece of history, right in that half a million dollar price point. Hit us up, shoot me a text if you want to see inside. So don't miss a visit or, or even a, a chance to live or work in Gaborhood. It sets itself apart from Center City and the rest of the city with its rainbow flags and, and its, its eclectic life. Most of the businesses, a lot of them, and a lot of the residences are owned by LGBTQ folks and supporters of LGBTQ lifestyle. They cater. They've got outdoor dining, inside seating, you've got fancy, you've got simple, you've got everything you need to know and everything you want to, everything you could think of in Gaborhood. They also do annual pride celebrations and they got weekly parties here. It's just a fun, cool, accepting part of town. Gotta check it out. Well, I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here. Thanks for joining me here in Gaborhood and in Philadelphia. Hit that subscribe button, click that like button. It helps the channel. You want to hit up a comment? Do so. We, we answer all of our communication. My team and I work nights and weekends, and we're happy to help. If you're thinking of moving to the area, or you've got an area that you're interested in, or you have a question about Philadelphia, or in the city, or out of the city, we got you covered in the counties too. Check out our video that we just did about living outside of Philadelphia. We're your folks. I'm your guy. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day, everybody.